rockin' with that chest, not Jeffers TV, cake ass. Now, Rich. Little Bill, showin' 20s on Pirelli skills. Got your muscles dilated like the mixed fields. No time to stop, focus only on the meal. What it do, man? Y'all know it ain't too much going on, but I'm running across some shit that I want y'all to see. You know what I'm saying? That was funny to me because it be funny, man, how these niggas, man, they be playing hard. They be on interviews, talking gangster shit and all of that, man. And then when it come down to going to jail or doing the other the other side of gangster life, they don't nobody like to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? The dirty side of it. Then niggas wanna be crying like little hoes, like babies and shit. Check this shit out, man. This is what I be talking See, this is what I be talking about. You know what I'm saying? All my young niggas out there doing, bro. If your ass can't take the heat, nigga, get out the street, motherfucker. Are you gonna be crying like this nigga right here? Check this shit out. that long that shit hurt my ears to hear that nigga crying like that boy if you don't sit your ass down so what then the nigga went to jail he was like on a high speed chase or something the nigga had two guns in the car uh, all type of shit man then the nigga done been he, he done already been snitching before like man listen man that nigga that need to leave the streets alone somebody need to go up there and tell that nigga go get a job nigga go do some construction work or something drive some trucks my nigga cause the streets ain't you but I told y'all about these females too, these girls. I told y'all these girls was acting a fool. I ran across some more footage, man. I gotta show it to y'all. I gotta keep y'all hip, man. <laughs> Check shit out. Who's in the way? Instead of prom parties, their social events are shootings and funerals. The number of teen girls using guns is growing. And now female crime fighters are working to bring them to justice and turn their lives around before more lives are ruined. We had an exclusive look inside recent NYPD gang takedowns. Nineteen-year-old Brianna Portalatin, eight months pregnant, was among other suspects brought out from a sort of criminal commune in a Bronx apartment. She was in handcuffs again. Police say it's her third gun arrest. What's going on here? I love you, babe. The expectant mom with a rap sheet is allegedly one of 20 members of the notorious slaughtery gang, indicted in 14 shootings in the Fordham section of the Bronx. In our exclusive look inside the NYPD takedown, we learned she's not the only female alleged trigger puller. Man, y'all see what I'm talking about? They got them girls on, on the episode of Street Soldiers. Y'all seen the title of this shit of the news um, segment that was going on? That shit say Street Soldiers. And they got these girls. And this girl come out eight months pregnant. They booking her for a shoot. Like, what? <laughs> Little mama out here pregnant. Thumping the pistol. Like, God damn. And the other one, 15 years old. Out there banging on the street. Like, in public. Like, it ain't nothing, man. Damn, let's finish the clip, man. 19-year-old Nadine Asamoah, known as drill rapper Nabenz. Investigators say she was one of the leaders. We're racing to the precinct right now because so far this morning, the detectives have captured eight subjects wanted in this case. Nabenz, police, police say you're a trigger puller. Police say you're a trigger puller. Is that true? What? Police say you're a trigger puller. We saw three three case members, which we've never had before, you know, arrested. When you look at those three case members, total five trigger pulling incidents and six gun arrests amongst those three females. So we're seeing the violence, it's increasing and it's concerning. 
When I told y'all I was gonna get worse, this the shit I'm talking about. Look at Lil Mama. She 19, she thugged out. She goddamn me uh, rapping, uh, shooting, uh, everything. And they talking about she one of the leaders. See, this, this is what I'm telling y'all, man. These little girls is the new, man. Come on, man. Let's finish the clip out, man. More prominent roles in the Gun Violence Suppression Division cases. Detective Lena Alexander and Detective Aaron Curry made history in May as the first female team to lead a gang takedown. For them, it's about having an impact on those they arrest and restoring safety to the community. I was born and raised in East New York, Brooklyn, and it's uh, very near and dear to my heart, and I just wanted to make a difference and making the streets hopefully a little bit safer. Trailblazing Bronx DA Darcel Clark says there are many reasons why they're seeing girls get seduced by the gang lifestyle. That's why in addition to prosecuting the cases, she also devotes her time and energy to prevention in the community to let girls know they have other options. Some of them are afraid. Some of them are forced to do it. Some of them just, you know, are curious. They like the bad boys, so they want to run in those circles to see what it's like. They may not necessarily be like that, but it's too late once you get caught up in it. Poverty and unstable family and mental health issues are also factors, says clinical social worker Dr. LaShawn Paul, who treats teen girls at risk. I personally don't believe that there's any like specific diagnosis or things that you can look for, right? I think that the sooner that we get intervention for these girls, the better before they become the lead, because before they become the shooter. There's so much more to this. I hope you join us for the next. Here go my thing though. I hear what the ladies tell me like, they trying to kiss the girls before they become the shooters and all that stuff. But you seen how like, everybody that they were talking about on that clip that was a, a high ranking official, the DA was a woman, uh, the psychology person was a woman. The police team they got is women. You see what I'm saying? So, this is how I'm looking at it. As women progress, you know what I'm saying, and get more higher positions, um, and, and get in the positions that men traditionally or usually would have, you know what I'm saying? They stepping into the role of men all around the board. That means in, in, in good shit and bad shit. You feel what I'm saying? So, if these girls, like, they moving like little, like little boys move, you know what I'm saying? So they out here fighting, they out here shooting, they out here gang banging, they rapping, they trapping, they just like... The, the district attorney black lady that's doing the same shit that men used to do. She out here handling her business. You know what I'm saying? It's going on on both sides of the coin. So you got to look at it like that. As, as women progress and get more equality and more power and such, say, this shit going to turn up more and more. It's going to be more and more female gangsters. <laughs> they going to start, I'm telling you, they going to start popping out, man. Y'all pay attention, man, what I'm talking about, man. Shit. They, man, look, they trying to make a woman president. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So the advancement is going on all around the board. It ain't just on the good side. It's on the flip side, too. Think about it, man. It's just not chugging, man. OGBC. Move slow. Think fast for sure. Oh, yeah, before I go, man, I'm thinking about doing my little sports thing again. Like I was doing. I was doing my little bowling in the mix. I did, like... 32 or 13 episodes back then. I'm thinking about starting. Y'all put in the comment, man. Let me know if y'all want to talk some ball on this bitch. Because, you know, that's all I really watch on TV, ESPN. You know, I'm a sports guru. I ain't going to even lie to you. So let me know in the comments if I ought to start that shit back up. I'm thinking about doing it tomorrow. Shit. Y'all let, let your boy know. I'll let y'all.